the weather today is kind of gross. It's going to be warm and humid and gusty south winds out there. It's just going to be ugh, across the area today. There's no rain across the radar right now, but I won't be surprised if you're seeing a few raindrops out there. They may not necessarily be showing up on radar, but I was out earlier this morning and there were a few tiny raindrops across the windshield there. With all the moisture in the air, it won't be a surprise at all if it spits out a few raindrops across the area. And it may or may not show up on radar. I don't expect any thunderstorms today, not anything significant. We'll have to wait till tomorrow afternoon for that. It's warm today, 80, 81 degrees across the area. And then tonight it's going to be another kind of mild overnight, 66, 67 degrees across the area. And it's going to be so humid. So you see this potent dry line out here. I mean, look at this gradient. You see where the dry line there across Lubbock down to Fort Stockton there, just a very stout dry line that will be making its way eastward later today. That will be the focus for storms off to our west. No storms for us today. I, I think they stay away from us, but tomorrow will be quite a bit of a different story. So today you have the dry line. We have this front out here that's kind of stationary, but that will be making its way our direction. So uh, you see the triple point here. So they're looking at severe storms possible all the way from the Rio Grande up through West Central Texas, up through Oklahoma, Eastern uh, Kansas there, and then far Western Nebraska, even up to Central Iowa here. So quite a bit of action outside of our area, but tomorrow is when we will be looking at storms. All of this yellow is a slight risk for severe weather. I do expect this to fill in, and I've said it many times, that when you have a large area covered like this, I do expect that to fill in with an enhanced risk later today, possibly tomorrow. So I'll bring that information to you when it uh, happens, but I think we at least see an enhanced risk. We could even see a moderate risk across eastern portions of Texas. I think most of it, most of the activity will be east of us. I think from about Waco, maybe to Corsicana, up to uh, Van Sant County there, up to Sulphur Springs, I think is where we'll see the things really start to heat up uh, later Thursday afternoon, evening, and then continuing to increase in severity as it gets off to the east. So that said though, again, this, uh, this uh, slight risk goes all the way back to Comanche, Weatherford, Denton. So hey, our whole area, really all of uh, North Central Texas should be paying attention tomorrow afternoon. And as far as what risks to expect, I have us in a slight risk. I have a pretty low tornado risk. It's low, but not zero. It looks at this point like there just won't quite be the right setup for a lot of tornadoes, but I can't rule out an isolated tornado or two. I think damaging wind and hail will be the primary risks. I wanna talk about the flooding just briefly though. With all the humidity and the moisture in the air, we will be looking at quite a bit of heavy rain as these storms come through. So as that is the case, I do expect we could see some flooding issues uh, tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. And we've seen it plenty of times too, that as the line comes in, sometimes over our area, for whatever reason, I think it's because we're changing to a more linear system and we're getting closer to the goal, so the front slows down we often see those heavier storms start to kind of train across our area, really from about Ennis down to Corsicana. That's the area where it starts to hit more resistance, right? As it starts to move east and southeast. So we could be looking at some flood issues, more localized flooding issues as we get through the afternoon tomorrow. So today I have a 20% chance of morning showers here. Again, I think most mostly it's just gonna be kind of the misty, gross, yucky stuff out there as that Gulf moisture continues. It is windy, 15 to 20 miles per hour, 30 to 35 mile an hour gusts out there today. It's going to be very windy. 80 degrees for the high, 80, 81, 67 overnight. Tomorrow we're pretty much the same. I just have a one degree lower because I'm accounting for the fact that we could see more clouds with those uh, thunderstorms that we see tomorrow. And it really looks like thunderstorms probably starting around four or five o'clock. It could be a little earlier. Timing will be refined as we get closer, but four or five o'clock, I think rush hour really is when we will start to see those storms pop up. So tomorrow's windy as well. So keep that in mind. The front moves through 61 degrees tomorrow night but we won't immediately see the cool air until really Friday. Friday morning, we could see a few more showers and thunderstorms affiliated with all this stuff. I think most of that is east and southeast of us. Breezy on Friday, we'll see those winds shifting to the north actually once the front moves in. So uh, depending on when we get the, the bigger push of cold air, 
that will turn our, our uh, winds to the north. So that's not reflected here, but we will see a wind shift on Friday. And depending on when that happens, 73 degrees, we could get a little warmer, could get a little cooler. So that's a little bit fluid, but overnight Friday night, you see that cold air as we get into the upper forties. Saturday, we're a little bit cooler, even 72 degrees for that high. Sunny skies though, north breeze. And again, mid to upper forties overnight. Sunday, we get another cold front, not quite as stout, not quite as stormy, but it does bring cooler air. So we're in the sixties on Sunday, fifties overnight Sunday into Monday. Monday, we look at upper 60s for the high, so still a little bit warmer. And then uh, Tuesday, we're in the upper 70s. So we're warming up, but you notice we have a chance of rain each day. So it looks like afternoon showers and thunderstorms possible probably uh, through the next few days. Sunday, it could be affiliated with the front, so that could be a little bit earlier in the day, but I think Monday and Tuesday are more afternoon storm chances. So stay tuned as we're watching this next system come in, could bring strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, so Thursday, tomorrow afternoon and evening again, probably starting around three, four, five o'clock and going on from there. More updates to come.